Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Amanda, thanks so much for coming by. I have a serious cleaning motivation video for you guys. This is sort of an ultimate clean with me. Our house is completely a mess and I needed to get to it. Um, our night last night was pretty busy so I was behind on some things and I needed to get to some things that I do on a weekly basis as well as the never ending pile of laundry in our home. Today's video is also in collaboration with a very sweet friend of mine. Her name is Olivia Snyder. She has a motherhood lifestyle channel and she shares a lot of cleaning content as well as organization tips. She also does DIY crafts and tips for budgeting and frugal living. She's a Texas mama to three little kids and she is so very real, so very calm and it's just so easy to get to know her and she's so fun to listen to. So I know you guys are really gonna enjoy her. She has another great cleaning motivation video for you guys as well so be sure to pop over once you've watched mine and check out her content so my day is beginning around 9 30 this morning and i'm getting going in my bedroom i need to wash my bedding i try to do this about once a week but honestly it's been longer than that i'm not entirely sure how long but definitely longer than that because life has just been nuts for us and i can't remember the last time i washed them so i'm starting in here i'm going to be getting these through um, i already have a small load of laundry of my clothing that i need to get over into the dryer and if you guys notice, I do have some of the laundry in my lap. Those are my workout clothes. I don't like to dry them just because it will damage the elastane that's inside the clothing. So these I dry sort of just draped all over my bathroom, but that's why those didn't go in there. Once these are in, um, I'm gonna be going back into my bedroom. I did wanna wipe down like my nightstands and things like that. There was just some dust and smudges from my kids' fingerprint. So I'm gonna be using the Caldrea Rosewater and Driftwood Spray. I love this scent, I've talked about it before. It's absolutely my favorite right now out of any of the cleaning um, products that I have. So I've also got my little four-year-old in here. He loves to help me out in the morning when his older siblings are doing their schoolwork. So they are right now and I tend to let him come along with me just because it keeps him busy and it keeps him from bothering them and this is quite typical what you guys are seeing so my older boy had just done his reading lesson video and now it was his time to come and read to me out loud so he's in here reading a chapter out of his book and I was finishing up with Warren but now I'm gonna sit down and listen to him read for a little bit and then I will pick up my cleaning So as you guys can see, that load of laundry over there, I'm gonna be folding that later on. It's over there waiting until I get everything cleaned up. I like to wait until the end of my day to do my laundry as far as getting all my cleaning and things like that done. And Warren, I've mentioned before that my kids love this vacuum, so he did wanna help out. Um, I try to step back and let the kiddos help out as much as I can with the cleaning. I do find that it will encourage them and um, it just helps them feel a little more like they are a part of the family, they have responsibility, they're being big helpers, and they just love the verbal praise that comes with that. So whenever I can, I do like to step back and let the kiddos help. All right, so one thing that was on my agenda today was to get this bed cleaned. So with little kids, having all of the white around these white carpets and my white bedding, um, it definitely means that there is some extra cleaning, but I really, really love these color tones. I love the neutrals, the whites, the soft grays, and the cool blues. But as you can see, the dirty hands, um, my little toddler had gotten a hold of some raspberries this morning after breakfast and she came in and grabbed the edge of my bed. So I wanted to get on this right away before those had a chance to set into the fabric. And I have this little Bissell carpet cleaner. I love this thing. Um, obviously you wouldn't be able to clean an entire carpet or an entire room with it, but as far as using it to spot clean some of the messes that my kids leave behind, it's amazing. 
and um, I'm gonna be showing you guys later on after it's had a chance to dry how well it got everything out but it is so simple to use I do have it on my Amazon favorites page if you guys want to look into it but I highly recommend it so now that my bedroom area is all cleaned up I'm just waiting for my bedding to get through I needed to come out here and take care of the main living area so this is an area that when we came home from the ball fields last night my kids' games they had some late games the other night I just dropped everything got the kids in bed and then got myself in bed so we didn't clean up anything at all and that's why there was like some of my kids uniforms and my shoes were out here and all that because we literally just dropped it all and went to bed So at this point, it's actually been um, about an hour or a little bit more. I had to take a break and um, do some schoolwork with my older kiddos. And then my younger kiddos are popping around now. My little one, she woke up from her nap. So you'll see her in a little bit. And my four-year-old, he's going to be in and out. He's really, really good about playing with his little sister. Um, they hang out in the living room a lot in the mornings if I'm busy cleaning or if I'm doing lessons with the older kiddos. But they are around quite a bit. So... Uh, if you guys are new to my channel we do homeschool and this is what a lot of my cleaning looks like most of the time it's very stop and start and um, i'm taking breaks a lot in between doing schoolwork with my kiddos and hanging out and um, spending some time with them so it's not always straight through as these videos can sometimes present <laughs>
so the kitchen is all cleaned up now and I'm gonna be working on the rest of the house. I am gonna be using my Roomba today. The poor little thing is so beat up. <laughs> I love this thing. I don't usually pull it out except for in the evenings because she's so loud. And then I decided now that my kiddos were done with their schoolwork to get some music going. So that is probably my number one tip for any of you that are looking to get your kiddos to um, help out a little more around the house and whatnot throw on some music. My kids love music so much and that song, Get Out of My Dreams and Get Into My Car from Billy Ocean is their favorite song right now. It's just such an amazing 80s song. It's so, so much fun. The energy in it is incredible. So if you guys aren't familiar with it, I would say definitely look it up, turn it on and give it a listen because it's such a fun song. So I've got that on while we're cleaning up the living room. Um, as you can see, there are some toys from my older kids down here, but usually it's just toys from my baby down here. My older kids have their playroom upstairs, which we will be getting to next because it's an absolute horrible mess. But I also needed to come in and just straighten up the books and the DVDs and things like that. So I've got all hands on deck. Everybody's helping right now while we've got the music going. Trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near There's nothing that I can do When you're walking in I know it's true Okay, now that we have the monstrosity of a mess from the playroom dealt with, 
Um, I'm going to be going into the boys' room next. Nora is picking up her room, but she is actually really, really good about not letting her room get too far out of hand. So the boys' room is always the one that looks like a tornado hit it, which isn't surprising. They're five and four. Um, I don't expect a whole lot from them as far as keeping it tidy all the time. I mean, they get each other wound up and whatnot, and after that, there's just no hope. So we usually have to come in and pick up things like their hangers, as you can see, and they love all their little stuffies and whatnot. But usually um, we keep toys to a minimum, so there really wasn't much to do other than just the clothing and the blankets and things like that. But I have loads of their laundry that are waiting to go in after all of my bedding gets through. And I just wanted to make sure that the room was picked up and ready to go so that when I brought all the laundry up, I didn't have to do everything all at once. So as you guys will see here in just a minute, Nora is done with her room and she came in and volunteered to help out with the boys' room, which she will do quite often. I think I've actually figured out what her two main love languages are, just because this is how she expresses her love um, towards everybody else in the family. I think probably hers are um, acts of service and then quality time. So she loves to always be a part of everything and I think it is also that she's an oldest sibling but she's definitely a mother hen to everybody and she's always coming in and asking if she can do something and if she can help with something so um, she is really really good in this way she does like to come in and help out as much as she can which I definitely appreciate it helps me out quite a bit but it also sets a really good example to the boys of how uh, they can pitch in and help out even when things aren't their mess and then also just kind of brings the presence of mind to them that they need to be cleaning up after themselves. It's taken her a few years <laughs> to come into her own in this way, but she has gotten a lot better about cleaning up after herself. All right, so again, at this point, it has been a little while. I got the kids their lunch and um, we had some time outside. The weather has been really, really nice, but it is starting to heat up and get pretty warm. So I know that we are limited on the number of days that we can go outside and really enjoy ourselves. And now I have my little one down for her nap and all my bedding is done. So I'm gonna be getting all of that back on my bed. Bye. Alright, so now that the house is quiet and I have all of the big cleaning done, I'm taking care of that laundry that was over on that lounge chase. I do like to wait until everything is clean. I don't know, it's just something about folding laundry when everything is clean and calm and quiet. I definitely prefer doing it then um, as opposed to doing it before everything is dealt with. Um, I don't know, it just relaxes me a lot more. So 
now that that's done, I'm dealing with this. I do have laundry from my kiddos going in the washer and dryer and I'm gonna be doing that pretty much all day long. Um, I try to do a load a day, but again, just with how crazy life has been, I have gotten behind on some things and laundry is like always one of those things that I, it, it's the first thing to go. I'm awful about seeing it through all the way. And if I can put it off, I will put it off. But that is going to wrap up the cleaning for this video. Like I said, I just had a lot that I needed to catch up on and I will be dealing with laundry the rest of the day. This is a look at the carpet and my bed after they had had a chance to dry. So it had been, I don't know, about four hours or so. And as you can see, everything came out beautifully. So yes, it is a lot of extra work having these creams and whites around in my home with little kids, but at the same time, for me, it's worth it because I just love those colors so much. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this and got a lot of motivation from this. Definitely let me know in the comments. I love talking with you guys. Make sure that you check out Olivia's channel. She is so very fun and I know you guys are really going to enjoy her. I appreciate all of your support so very much and I will see you guys with my next video. Love.